as they come to the line. It will be Earnhardt out in front. Or Walter out in front of Earnhardt. Then Little Al, Brundle, and Mark Martin battle back behind them. Now we're on the final lap. Earnhardt is chasing Darrell Walter. Little Al continues to watch from his position in third place. Martin just pushed that Brundle right out. I mean, he that was just I took the speedway in straight. Just got up and pushed it right over. Final pass down the back stretch as Earnhardt now comes inside Waldrop. Little Al gives him a little bit of help. They come past Waldrop. Here they come, the final maneuvers. There's only one turn and a little bit left now. It looks like Waldrop has faded from the picture. Earnhardt leads it, but will Little Al be able to drop out of the line and pick up? They come to the trioval. The start finish line is a bit behind that. Earnhardt widens his car out as they come into the line. Earnhardt followed by Jr. and then Mark Martin. And there it is. Earnhardt takes the first international race of champions for 1990 and the Dodgers proved to be terrific. Best super speedway race we've ever seen in the IROC series. And the first win ever in IROC for Dale Earnhardt. One spectacular race. Unbelievable. There is your winner, the silver car, Dale Earnhardt, lined up break a little bit of the draft the other guys might be getting never be predictable in this game if you can help it as they come to the line it's the white flag that flies just one more lap to go in the 1990 dodge international race of champions alan sir jr comes down to challenge terry labonte fourth second place Dale Earnhardt may be on his way to a wire-to-wire -wire win here at Michigan International Speedway and with it, the IROC Championship. He won his first race this season in the IROC Series after 20 starts. His 18th proved to be a victory. Earnhardt still out in front of this field. Allinger Jr. fights with Mark Martin. The battle is at the front. You can just see how close the Dodge Day Daytonas are. Everybody just keeps moving around. Everything is determined by the draft and how hard the guys plan ahead of them. Coming to the finish, it's Earnhardt, followed by Labonte. The battle is for third, as Dorsey Strader pushes his route teammate. Mark Martin across in third as Allinger Jr. swings down low, trying to get past, but they finish up with Dale Earnhardt as the winner in the Dodge International Race. There, in what may be the most enviable position on the course. Boy, you can bet the gears are churning away. One lap to go in Dale Earnhardt's brain right now. What is he going to do about Ricky Rudd? Now's the time, Paul. They have to make their decisions. All their thinking has come to an end. They have to make their move now if they're going to do it. The final two and a half miles, now down to two miles. Harry Gant looks for any help that he can get. No one seems ready to do so. Now Earnhardt looks to the inside of Ricky Rudd onto the back stretch. Allison sits back and watches both of them as they battle for the lead. Gant sits back here in fourth place. They move into the final two corners, back into the high bank. Look at the maneuver around as Earnhardt tries to keep Allison in check, and Gant comes down inside Allison to the inside. Ricky Rudd is on the high side. Gant continues to move down the inside. They're nose to nose as they head for the trioval of the checkered flag. It's Gant and Ricky Rudd and Earnhardt moving down to the inside as they're three abreast coming across the line, and Earnhardt takes it. Earnhardt and Gant and Ricky Rudd at the line as they hit the line three abreast. The Winston Cup drivers, first, second, and third, and not separated by more than a foot and a half. I can't tell you who got second. I can tell you who got first, and I sure couldn't pick second out of that. That's the closest one I've ever seen. That was a work of art by Dale Earnhardt. He had to put together three or four coalitions in that last lap to pull off what he does. What a brilliant victory for Dale Earnhardt. So Baldwin very much a factor at the front of the field. Earnhardt. Then Mark Martin, there's the white flag, a single lap to go. Allen for Jr. chased by Jarrett, then Kyle Petty, then Rusty Wallace. It's decision time. Earnhardt perhaps in a place that he doesn't want to be, at the front of the field. Traditionally, you wouldn't want to be. Now Mark Martin makes his move to the inside. Allinger Jr. is down there to help. Earnhardt is on the high side all alone. Little Al wasn't there quite fast enough to help with Mark Martin. He could have gone by to second place, but they're going to try to leave Mark I squeezed back in. They were going to try to leave him out by himself. Didn't work, but now look at Al getting up. Dale Earnhardt. Jarrett on the charge inside of Baldwin as he moves up trying to grab third place as Earnhardt leading Al Unser Jr. They come off the fourth and final corner here at Daytona. They head down toward the trioval. Earnhardt with Al Unser Jr. making a move to the inside now. But Earnhardt Dude. squeezes it all the way down on the apron. Earnhardt takes it, followed by Unser Jr. and Dale Jarrett. And with the win, Earnhardt takes the lion's share of the points and now has the lead.
in the international race of champions. I think that's the key. What will Mark Martin do? He'll help Al Jr. if it helps himself. Two and a half miles to go. Scott Pruitt sits in fourth. He could influence this finish as well. Al Jr. on the inside. Did he make his move too soon? Keep your eye on Mark Martin in that blue car because I think what he does next may be the key. Might have been a little soon. Let's see. Mark Martin closes in on Earnhardt. Here comes Scott Pruitt. Has no choice. He sits up behind Martin. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Al Hunter Jr. comes low. They're halfway around the lap right now. indicating that one more lap to go decision time for everybody and look at them they're all together hold your breath and look at that crowd they are loving this race Earnhardt looks to the inside and won now Earnhardt is he going to back up try to get a run it looks like he is backing up just a tick to get a run coming down the back straightaway Mark Martin looks to the inside of Pruitt Wants to see what oh, Earnhardt's doing. Martin Here comes the inside of the block, and Earnhardt went on the outside. Now Pruitt to the inside, three of Not to follow. Pruitt, I thought, was going to stick with Gordon and follow him, but now he's bending to the lead on his own. Pruitt, oh, by himself, Earn gets up very Bing. close to Earnhardt. Earnhardt close to the wall. The final corner. Gordon fast on the low line. And here on the inside is Jeff Gordon. There are four of France coming down the line, and it looks like... Who is it? Earnhardt surging ahead. And Earnhardt just may take it. Earnhardt now, just barely nips it at the line. How can you say Unbelievable. That? Man, oh man. An unbelievable gentleman. Steve Kinzer, you see in the orange car, right through Earnhardt's windshield there. Looks like he finished second. He did finish second. God. I'll tell you what, another couple inches and he fade won the thing. That is prodigious. What a performance for, from Steve Kinzer. Oh, whatever you said, I agree with, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> so... Behind. It's going to be settled among those six drivers as they enter the first and second corners for the last time. See, that Dale fell back just a little bit. Now he's going to get him a run off of two. Here he comes. Can he make it? He tried to get a run up on Mark, but he didn't make it. Mark blocked him coming off the corner. And see, Bobby Labonte is not close enough to help Dale, so Mark can just sit there in the catbird seat. It's going to come down to the wire here. All right, here they are moving through the third turn. Now, now Dale's corner number four. Dale's going to try to move Mark up. He's going to try to push him up out of the way right here. Here they come Mark. off the corner. Earnhardt goes to the inside. The line is four behind him. He's got the push. Here it is. Dale Earnhardt wins it. Wow, the classic Intimidator move. Just a few hundred feet from the finish line. The other thing i got to figure out is how he always manages to do this. That's always Dale Earnhardt that does I never understand that. He's in by Fernandez because he doesn't know what to do. Mark Martin takes over the third spot. Here comes Mark. Martin. I know he knows what to do. Right now, what I think Jeff Gordon's trying to get himself in the position to be with the Winston Cup drivers. That's what he's trying to do. Well, Kenny Breck is on his back bumper trying to come along with him. Boy, they snake down the back stop with everybody trying to protect his position. Didn't, even, didn't even give a signal. I mean, just turned down there. Wallace 
Still has the lead. Earnhardt is wide on his back. Bubble and Mark Mayne is there. Let's see what happens as they come off the banking onto the tri-oval. Who's it going to be? It ain't over, folks, till they get way down here. Here comes Earnhardt on the outside. They come to the line. They hear side by side. He's got to play on the track. He's got it. <laughs> I just playing. I have no words for you, D.W. Started last, works again on the last lap, makes the pass, and pulls it off. Man, oh man. <laughs> this is when you find out who's been fooling who. That's right. It's, it's a time. white flag is waving. Time to do it. One to go. Two miles of competition. Dale Earnhardt. Hey, can he play the intimidator here? So. You're talking about the one in second or the one in first? <laughs> oh, here he goes. Little Lee's on the inside. Junior trying to take the oh. lead. But he pushed. Here comes Mark. Mark for second spot. Oh, oh Mark. man. Martin. Nah, this over now because they'll, they'll get side by side. Dale Senior setting up here saying, ha <laughs> But Martin can't get much of a run down there on the bottom. Earnhardt Jr. looking to the inside once again as they come through the corner. Now he's going to go to the high side. Uh -huh. He has to run. Junior may have uh -huh. it here. He's got a good run up on top. Let's see how it goes. Let's find out your feet. Son and, and father touch coming down. Oh, man, oh, man, Benny. Wow, what a finish. Benny, what a terrific finish. Golly, that's great. I never, saw, I never thought I'd see anything like that. They don't get any better than that, folks, and listen to the crowd. Man. That was incredible. I like this. <laughs> man, man. This, this is a lot more fun than having to be out there in all that hot air and stuff. <laughs> man, oh man. Dale Earnhardt winning his third race of 1999, <laughs> but just by literally inches over Sun Dale. The final lap, and Jeff Burton is making the move to the inside, and he's got help from Mark Martin. Here they come to the line. The white flag is in the air, and Burton leads the next to last lap. in the battle to the checkered flag for the win here at Daytona. Earnhardt gets the advantage up high off the second corner. Tony Stewart helping Dale Earnhardt up in that high line and Earnhardt once again takes the lead down the back stretch and into turn three. Tony Stewart and Jeff Burton running second and third. Are they going to be able to catch him? They come off of corner number four. It would appear as if here comes Stewart taking a look to the inside, but no! Dale Earnhardt wins the opener of the True Value IROC Series. For 2000, beating Tony Stewart, Jeff Burton, Mark Martin, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. And with that win, he ties Alunzer Jr. for most wins in IROC competition 11.